Hi, I'm Garvin. Welcome to our telly and video series. In this video, I will give a brief overview of what you need to know about chickenpox. In particular, I will cover what is chickenpox, how you can treat chickenpox, and how you can start to live with chickenpox. So we start with, what is it? Chickenpox was once considered a rite of passage for most children. Because the vaccine became available, however, when chickenpox does occur, it's highly contagious among people who aren't immune. Most people think of chickenpox as a mild disease, and for most it is, but there is no way to know which infected child or adult will develop a, a, a severe case. Fortunately, the chickenpox vaccine is a safe, effective way to prevent chickenpox and its possible complications. So the symptoms, the best known signs of chickenpox are a red itchy rash that initially may look like insect bites, small liquid filled blisters that break open and crust over. The chickenpox rash occurs in three stages. First, there are raised pink or red bumps or papules. These bumps will turn into fluid filled blisters or vesicles and finally, the vesicles will cross over and scab. It's possible that all three of these stages may occur at once. So the rash may be preceded by or accompanied by fever and abdominal pain or loss of appetite and mild headache and general feeling of unease and discomfort or irritability and a dry cough. So common sites of the rash include the face, scalp, chest and back. The rash can also spread across your entire body, even into your throat, eyes and vagina. New spots continue to appear for several days. In healthy children, the disease is generally mild. So the complications of chickenpox. Chickenpox is normally a mild disease, but it can be serious and can lead to complications, especially in those high risk groups. So these groups would be newborns and infants whose mothers never had chickenpox or the vaccine, teenagers, adults or pregnant women and people whose immune system are impaired by medications such as chemotherapy or another disease and people who are taking steroid medicines for another disease or condition such as children with asthma and people with the skin inflammation eczema. A common complication of chickenpox is a bacterial infection of the skin. Chickenpox may also lead to pneumonia or rarely an inflammation of the brain, which is encephalitis, both of which can be very serious. And chickenpox and shingles. So anyone who had chickenpox is at risk of a latent illness called shingles. After a chickenpox infection, some of the Varsella zoster virus may remain in your nerve cells. Many years later, the virus can reactivate and resurface as shingles, a pale, painful band of short-lived blisters. About one in 10 adults who've had chickenpox experience shingles. The virus is now more likely to reappear in older adults and people with weakened immune systems. So chickenpox and pregnancy. So other complications of chickenpox affect pregnant women. Chickenpox early on in pregnancy can result in a variety of problems in a newborn, including low birth weight and birth defects, such as limb abnormalities. A greater threat to a baby occurs when the mother develops chickenpox in the week before birth. Then it can cause a serious life-threatening infection in a newborn. So next is how do you treat chickenpox? In otherwise healthy children, chickenpox typically requires no medical treatment. Your doctor may prescribe an antihistamine to relieve itching, but for the most part, the disease is allowed to run its course. For people who have a high risk of complications from chickenpox, doctors sometimes prescribe medications to shorten the duration of the infection and to help reduce the risk of complications. If you or your child falls into a high risk group, your doctor may suggest an antiviral drug such as acyclovir or Zovirax. This medicine may lessen the severity of the disease when given within 24 hours after the rash first appears. Other antiviral drugs such as Valtrex and Famvir also may lessen the severity of the disease. 
but have been approved for use only in adults. In some cases, your doctor may recommend getting the chickenpox vaccine after exposure to the virus. This can prevent the disease or lessen its severity. If complications do develop, your doctor will determine the appropriate treatment. Treatment for skin infections and pneumonia may be with antibiotics. Treatment for encephalitis is usually with antiviral drugs and hospitalization may be necessary. So don't give anyone with chickenpox, child or adult, any medicine containing aspirin because this combination has been associated with a condition called Ray's syndrome. The chickenpox rash can be very itchy and broken vesicles sometimes sting. These discomforts along with fever, headache and fatigue can make anyone quite miserable. So for some relief you could try a cool bath with added baking soda, uncooked oatmeal or colloidal oatmeal. Also calamine lotion dabbed on the spots, a soft bland diet if chicken pox sores develop in the mouth and antihistamines such as Pyroton for itching. And check with your doctor to make sure your child can safely take antihistamines and also paracetamol or ibuprofen for a mild fever. And again, don't give aspirin to anyone with chicken pox because it can lead to Ray's syndrome. And don't try and treat a high fever without consulting your doctor. And for prevention of chickenpox, the chickenpox vaccine is the best way to prevent chickenpox. Experts from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention in the United States estimate that the vaccine provides complete protection from the virus for nearly 90% of young children who receive it. When the vaccine doesn't provide complete protection, it significantly lessens the severity of the disease. And finally, there are numerous products available at Lynch's Pharmacy in Douglas in Cork to assist in managing chickenpox. We also have various supplements and products which you can purchase from us without a prescription, such as antihistamines, calamine lotion, poxclean lotion, calpol and neurofen. So that brings this video to an end. So call into us at Lynch's Pharmacy in Douglas in Cork or call 021 436 6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.